Nancy Brennan's going to take us through where we've been and where we're going. It's been a great year for the Greenway. Uh, it is still a young park. This is uh, going on our third year of running the park as board and Greenway Leadership Council and friends and staff. And I think at the same time, my sense that there is uh, a growing enthusiasm for the park, a sense that it is taking hold and really the Greenway is delivering the increasingly uh, the, as a place that there is more public health, uh, a place where people can find uh, company or they can find a place to relax by themselves, a place where there's good food, a place where there is increasingly lots of joy. And it's really a pleasure for us to be about the next few minutes to talk about last season and look, of, and look forward to fiscal year 2012. We have some very straightforward goals that I think you've heard us talk about many times. And I will say that some of the things that we'll be talking about are familiar to you because you have been part of the uh, evolution and the maturation of the Greenway. If there is anything I can say, uh, it is uh, we didn't have to write very much of, in putting this presentation together. For the first time, we had the kind of flood of emails from park goers. We had uh, some very, very nice comments in the Globe, in the Herald, and elsewhere, and we thought we'd share some of those with you as we talk about last year. There are many more people in the park than there were the year before. Uh, if you look at uh, the actual data that the Conservancy, yes, collects, but we collect them from third-party sources. We can say, uh, and you can see it for yourself, that park goers have increased by 55% compared to last year. And that is both people who are now using the Greenway because they know it, what it can offer, and the Conservancy is committed to adding more things for people to enjoy, more things that slow them down as they're making their promenade uh, north and south or east and west on the Greenway. Uh, more things to uh, kick back and enjoy, whether uh, people are by themselves, uh, workers and uh, employees in the surrounding office buildings, neighborhood residents, families from here and elsewhere, whether they are uh, more, uh, more carousel riders, uh, if you can see this slide, in uh, 2010, we had 87,000 happy riders, and this year we expect to top 100,000. So that, plus many more happy people uh, enjoying food vendors, uh, enjoying our public programs, uh, it's the Greenway is a really coming place. We'll be talking about beauty, so why start? Uh, I know snow is going to come again, but uh, as Pat on the Greenway pointed out, it's another one of our seasons and let's uh, put on our clothes and our boots and go enjoy it. So if it's making uh, snowmen or just taking a walk in the park, uh, our park operations team led by Steve Anderson has made sure that uh, the snow is taken care of to to provide both uh, good solid pathways but also beautiful vistas in the snow. And then in the summertime, uh, in the Rings Fountain, it is uh, a very happy place. And we're very proud, I think all of us, the Greenway Conservancy that inherited the decisions that the community made before we were created, and the state, and the city of Boston, that this would be a very high quality space, a very special space in Boston where people could come completely free of charge and have the kind of 
rec high quality recreational experience uh, that should be found in the heart of downtown Boston. And it's delivering on that promise. If you go to the Rings Fountain, you'll hear every kind of language spoken under the sun. The Greenway, with our organic practices, is simply maturing. Uh, the organic practices have been extremely important, and we're proud of doing that here on the Greenway. But let's give a round of applause to Mother Nature, yeah? <laughs> and the plant materials that have been selected are simply, as, as Pat showed on the High Line, uh, gaining momentum, filling in, providing four seasons of color. We also, this last, uh, this last year, added over 140 containers, which uh, we will continue to switch out plant materials to add more color throughout the seasons. We have uh, a wonderful volunteer program. We're glad there are volunteers that now number over 200. Uh, are having as good a time as we are glad to see them there. We have a new program uh, that just opened last Friday, and I hope you'll go by Chinatown Park uh, with wonderful supporters here in the audience. I want to say that there were eight groups of individuals in Chinatown whose commitment to this park uh, equals our own and we were able to bring a whole set of new tables, chairs, umbrellas, and plant materials to Chinatown Park and this is the first of what I hope will be several improvements to Chinatown Park over the next several years as uh, designs and funding uh, come along apace. Our Green and Grow program graduated its second year of students, and I'm very proud to say uh, that uh, uh, Raynell on our right here has joined the Greenway Conservancy as a full-time staff member. And this is a young man, uh, actually two young men, who earned their spurs who last year not only created all, uh, com completed all their academic work, but also went on to get a license from NOFA, an organic landscape practice. We're very proud of him and very proud of them. And the next uh, Green and Grow class just started two weeks ago. Back to volunteers and uh, how the community is making our work uh, so uh, enjoyable and doable. Uh, many volunteers uh, in our parks on a weekly basis. We now also have volunteer days for corporations that can bring, bring everybody and come to the Greenway for a three or four hour time with their hands in the dirt and uh, then uh, cookies uh, afterwards. I know we pay them really well. <laughs> We are a four-season park in the center of a thriving economic uh, area of Boston and vital, vital neighborhoods. So we will continue bright lights for winter nights that got bigger and better last year and will get bigger and better this year. Our programs increase during the uh, non-winter seasons and uh, on, our, on your right, you'll see the latest creativity from our activity carts sponsored both by our own funds and help from corporations in the area. This year also featured the uh, pilot of the Greenway Open Market, a great success. My pocketbook can demonstrate that it was a <laughs> great success. <laughs> And what's been really fun is that we all had our fingers crossed, but the vendors, I understand, have made as much or perhaps more uh, in the Greenway open market experiment as they do at the SOA open market. So it's great for everybody. We have uh, a proud place, uh, but we're one element of a Greenway District. And this Greenway District is changing around us, and much in the same way that Pat talked about New York. 
there are restaurants opening, there are, there's a vitality on the Harbor Walk. Uh, this whole area is becoming what we've all hoped it would be, a thriving, uh, increasingly beloved and used part of the city. We um, <laughs> have been very happy that our neighbors have been happy, uh, and we continue to learn. Um, we have events where, as an example, the uh, music was not perfect and it was too loud and too constant. So we now, with our partners, will be checking their uh, music list. And every day and every way, uh, with feedback from the public, park operations is getting fine-tuned and better and better. There's a lot of fun to be had on the Greenway. Um, whether it is working with Sidewalk Sam in the upper left or the River 92.5 uh, on our Earth Day concert. We're looking forward uh, to bringing them back again next year. And the carousel uh, is, uh, along with so many other amenities, just an expected feature of a great greenway. And the yum factor. Uh, we've talked before at this annual meeting that who knew the way to the public's heart was going to be through their stomach. Well, it is. And isn't that a wonderful thing? And now we have doubled the number of food vendors on the Greenway to great public acclaim. And there is plenty of yum on the Greenway. And I want to say, while I have a moment, thank you to Barbecue Smith who provided our meal tonight, and please don't go home hungry. <laughs> we do everything we do in partnerships, whether it is the, with the state or with the city. Tony Pollack is here, the Commissioner of Parks. Hi, Tony, thank you so much for all your support. And uh, we also have dozens and dozens of partners who are helping us build a better greenway. The De Cordova Sculpture Park and Museum, along with Boston Properties, has brought Urban Garden to us in the last three months, and it will be up for another year. And it is an example of the kind of momentum that's growing on the Greenway. Public art should be one of those things that is changing all the time and providing new reasons for people to come down and see the Greenway. We had a new installation by Jacob, uh, Jacob uh, Kulin, and that is in the Wharf Districts, and a district, again, temporary installation of public art that will be replaced by another good-looking piece. We do evanescent art as well, often with the public's help. Here uh, we did The Wave, a, a traveling exhibit that came down from the Peabody Essex Museum and, and was on the Greenway for a weekend. And in terms of creativity, many of you know that uh, with your help we're working on Boston's first iconic, one-of-a-kind carousel that will replace our temporary rented carousel probably in the spring of 2013. Our uh, fundraising proceeds well. We have enough money to proceed with the construction of the carousel and we're continuing to set up the most special place around it that we can. And there will be another public meeting about the carousel later this fall. But we are fulfilling uh, the creativity uh, of the Boston School children that helped us select animals from this area of the air, of the land, of the sea that they wanted to ride on and with an extraordinary sculptor who lives just north of here, Jeff Briggs, who has done carousels all over the nation and has worked as a carousel sculptor as well as in other media for 25 years. Uh, we have some wonderful animals coming. That is the final rendered lobster uh, that we'll be able to ride on quite soon. And the National Park Service Harbor Island Alliance Pavilion also opened this year. And it really has taken a portion of the Wharf District Parks 
knit it together and integrated it and that's something that our carousel and carousel park will continue to enhance. So looking forward to next year. Uh, you remember about this time last year that many of you uh, filled out a online survey letting us know what you liked and what you wanted to see more of, what you might like to see less of, and giving us new ideas for things to have in the park. Uh, public art was one, was one of the things that the public asked for uh, with the greatest passion. And with Kate Gilbert as the manager of our public art initiative, Kate, would you mind standing up for a second so people can see you? Great. We, are, uh, we have just begun a nine month long uh, public art master planning process that will have and we need lots of public input and we will make sure notices go out but please check our website for progress. And that survey has been such a helpful tool to plan our public season and we will start it again uh, on our website this week. Jesse, am I right about that? It's up already. It's up already, see? <laughs> so please, uh, fill it out and let us know what you think we should be doing more, less, or new. And please circulate this to your constituencies, your neighbors, your friends, your family. And I'd love to see uh, many more uh, ideas for the public come in. We will, uh, stop re we will stop the survey data collection in December and then we will go into tabulations with the Greenway Leadership Council and the board and begin our planning for the public season this winter. So, a little hard to, to see, but uh, in brief, and those of you who were here when we walked through our budget are familiar with this slide, we've just updated it. Our commitment to beauty and vibrancy uh, continues. Uh, we will add more plant material as we've talked about. We will incorporate the lessons we've learned from the Greenway Open Market and invite them back and ideally expand it more uh, weekends for next year. We will uh, embark on the fabrication of the custom carousel and keep the public involved uh, with our progress. Uh, Mary Suhu Park and the Armenian Heritage Park will both open uh, in the next public season, which is very exciting. And we will continue that uh, art master planning process uh, and uh, with your help, uh, continue to bring great ideas in public art onto the Greenway. We also are uh, thoroughly engaged with the initiative that will help to strengthen the park experience and strengthen our financial structure. We've talked about it before and the, it is the proposed Greenway Business Improvement District that we are talking uh, to neighbors about and continuing to make progress. And again, we will keep everyone up to speed in our four regular meetings and on our website very soon there will be a dedicated website to the Greenway Business Improvement District for park operations so you can see uh, what's happening, what it will mean uh, to the public and to the park. We are operating our budget for FY12 on a very similar budget to FY11 that's about uh, four and a half million dollars and uh, we will uh, just continue steady as she goes uh, for a bigger, happier, more joyful, more beautiful, more vibrant Greenway. And we hope to uh, merit, uh, we hope to earn many more emails like this. Thank you so much. Thanks, Nancy.